Hello friends. I want to real quickly go over the SWR meter that I use. I've made several videos in the last few months testing different uh, GMRS radios. And in all those videos, I use this handy little SWR and power meter to test them out. And on all of those videos, I get more questions about this little meter than I do about the radios themselves. So I want to do a quick video about what I think is the best little SWR and power meter, why I like it and how to use it and how quick and easy it is. I'm not affiliated with this company. I bought one of these a few months ago based on the recommendations of another YouTube channel. It's worked well for me, so I thought I'd share it since so many people ask about it. Now, one of the important reasons why you don't just want an SWR meter, but why you need an SWR meter, one, it's good to check your SWR, tune your antenna. There's lots of videos about that and why, how important that is. But an SWR meter, any SWR meter, will tell you if your antenna is dead shorted. There's no other way really to know other than when you smell the smoke coming out of your radio because it was dead shorted. I've installed a lot of CB antennas and a lot of GMRS antennas. And more than once, I've screwed up the wiring. Actually, one time I had a bad connector in the wiring as well, and it resulted in a dead short. And if you transmit on a dead shorted antenna circuit, it will kill your radio like fast, like in a minute. So you need an SWR meter to measure the SWR, but more importantly, to check your antenna circuit, checking for dead shorts and so on. So this is the Surecom SW33. It costs about $40. It's an SWR meter and power meter for UHF and VHF frequencies. So you can't use it with your CB radio. It's made for UHF and VHF ham radios and GMRS radios. So this is basically a GMRS SWR meter. It's durable, it's made out of metal, so if you drop it, it's not gonna get hurt. It's accurate enough for my use and for most average human people's use. It's not accurate down to the micro millimeter watt level, but for average use, just to measure the output of your radio or to measure your SWR, it's fine, it's good enough, accurate enough, and it's really easy to use. I've had several old CB SWR meters that were kind of hard to use, you had to, flip a button and adjust the needle and then flip the button the other way and then transmit. This is way simpler than that. This is why I like it. You can measure power up to 100 watts. You do need a dummy load or you should use a dummy load when measuring power output. And when you buy this, it comes with a little five watt dummy load. So this is only good for up to five watts. So if you wanna measure power output on anything that's higher power, like a mobile radio, you'll need to get a, a better dummy load. It also comes with some common connectors, SMA type connectors. It comes with several of the more common connectors that you might need. It doesn't come with every possible connector, so it is possible depending on how you've got your radio and your antenna set up that you might have to buy another little adapter. It does have a little LED screen and that's powered by an internal battery and you charge that battery every once in a while with a little USB port that is on it right there and it comes with a cable for charging it. I haven't had to charge mine yet, I've had it for months. So you can use this to measure SWR and power output. So let me just show you real quick how easy it is to use. So I've got my new uh, Ocean GMRS radio and I have my custom trimmed Nagoya antenna I've hit repeaters over 30 miles away with that antenna. You basically screw it into the radio, then screw the antenna onto the meter. So I've got my antenna, my meter, and my radio. Channel mode one seven. Good morning, sweet ocean voice lady. Okay, so this has basically two modes. It's got one button, so you can't hit the wrong button, and you press that to switch modes. And there's a little LED indicator right there that indicates what mode you're in. And there's also just quick little instructions right there that tell you what mode is which. So, so top indicator is power, lower indicator is SWR. So I just then go to a channel where nobody's talking. There's no calibration or anything. You plug it in and I press the transmit button and you'll see on the LED indicator, the SWR reading. That's how easy it is. No calibration, no flipping buttons back and forth. You basically screw it in, put your antenna on, press transmit, 
and you've got your SWR. To measure power, basically the same way. I'm gonna put my dummy load. This is the dummy load that came with it. Put that on. We're gonna press the little red function button and, and the little LED switches from the little bottom position to the upper position, indicating that it's on power. I press the transmit button and there on the LED screen at the top is my power output 5.1, 5.2. Cheap, 39 bucks, affiliate link down below. Simple to use, metal, durable, I think best little uh, SWR power meter around. If you have questions about it, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the trail.